the channel. So we're working on the Grumman van. We're working on the transmission tunnel and I got some sheet metal to go up and over the, the rear tires on this thing. Um, and just kind of figure out some loose ends on this thing because kind of the next step, once we get the sheet metal done, we can start pulling the body off. But we're not pulling the body off today because it's still freezing cold outside. Yes, it has been extremely cold which I've been lucky enough to go to work and you know, it's decently warm in there. It is a restaurant. It has been pretty nice where I work, but in here, this wood Steve cannot keep up enough and Corey has really been clean and I was shocked whenever I came in here. We are almost echoing in this garage. Um, he was just sweeping his little life away and moving stuff around. So the garage looks beautiful. Yeah, here lately, it's been like six degrees and the further back in the shop I went, it was colder, so I got the wood stove going, and I stayed up here in this little area and, you know, try to keep my body temperature up and just clean. <laughs> but without us rambling on, let's get started on today's project. For those of you who are new here, this is our wood Steve. I just named the stove Steve, and then it kind of stuck, so yes, we're not saying stove wrong. It's our wood stove named Steve, so it's wood Steve. This thing puts out the heat. This is Steve, everyone meet Steve. All right, so we're up inside the Grumman and where we kind of left off, we were putting the floor joists in this thing. And we took all the aluminum out, the aluminum runners, put some uh, inch and a half by two tubing, made a steel structure for this. And now we need to cover up this transmission. As you guys can tell, everything in this van is on a radius and I'm trying to keep it everything curved because this van is curved everywhere. So originally this thing was kind of squared off in here and we're giving it some more style. So I'm gonna take you guys along more with more contour. Yeah, Hannah's been giving me a hard time because I've been saying more contour. I don't even know where I got that word, but I think you like just picking on me really. Means I like you. All right. Oh. Yes, that is a 55 gallon barrel. My plan is to cut this thing like in a V shape almost, and we're gonna lay it in there. And some of you guys might be thinking, 55 gallon barrel, why are you using a 55 gallon barrel? Two reasons. First reason, it's already bent and it's got a contour or a curve oh. to it. And the second reason is me and Hannah was kind of brainstorming on this thing when we were on our way to Oklahoma, and the guy that we're building the van for owns a bar. So, Keep that in mind, so kind of the plan is, if you look at a beer keg, they have these um, ribs on them, you'd say. We're trying to keep it that barrel oh, gosh. look to it. What do you think, Minnie? You think this will look good? So I will be honest with you guys, I did get two barrels, just in case I mess up the first one because I'm prone to messing up stuff the first time. So, I got an idea. Got me a piece of metal, piece of strap. I went ahead and bent it to the arch of the front of this van or engine cover. So that goes like that. And then kind of what I figured is we'll take this, we'll put it on a piece of cardboard or a piece of thin plywood, whatever we can find. Someone's here. We just got some, got packages. some packages. Got one from Texas. Got one from well, where's it? M N, Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> and we got or Montana. <laughs> G uh, G S I, and I have another G S I package on the front porch. Chandler, Arizona. Mm. You never know who's watching your channel. I figured that out a long time ago. Um, not that we're nothing but a couple of goofballs, but it is kind of crazy the people that find out that watch your channel. So then that's kind of embarrassing in a way too, because you're like, <laughs> oh great. This, you know, these higher end people say like GSI, you know, they're, they're high end. They're like kind C10 of a big stuff. deal. Yeah, they're yeah. a huge deal. And then they message me like, hey, we watch your channel. I'm like, well, that's embarrassing. But anyways, <laughs> let's go on to what we were doing. Oh, we need spray paint. Mm hmm. Look, organization. I mean, I can't take credit for this. This was Hannah. What color we want? Well, probably, probably the only, only color, color yeah. Till. <laughs> oh. I'll meet you right here. Okay, we'll be waiting. That's embarrassing. That guy probably heard us talking. Yeah, <laughs> probably. 
Yeah, so our mail guy just showed up and we're in here just extremely being loud talking so you guys can hear us. All right, so oh. you guys, Go ahead. good. All right, so you guys seen us, you know, this fit the front of the engine cover. Simply gonna put this on there like that. How are we gonna cut this? I need a piece of cardboard be easier. Hey, there's some board right here. Oh, golly. Oh. I'm not sure that's big enough. It might be enough to do what we need. We have bigger sheets of that up, up in the attic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you okay? That was just my head. There we go. I said I cleaned the shop, I cleaned the shop by putting everything You're like here. kids that <laughs> shove everything underneath their bed when they clean? Yeah, no. Well, let, me, let me go see. All right, so a customer of mine, Mr. Stan said, hey, I couldn't see when you guys were, when Corey was up in the attic, I couldn't see. So I turned the flash on. Somebody commented that? To, in person to uh, me that I waited on. There's... Yes. It's Christmas decorations and just random pieces of Car parts. stuff. <laughs> so almost... in this big old light that Corey insists on using on who knows what. Jim Bivens. Actually, speaking of Jim Bivens. I got your shirt on, homie. <laughs> and I got you a big light for your truck, but I almost don't want to give it to you because I know you're going to melt it down. <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice light, too. <laughs> All right, we have our bigger piece of extremely thick cardboard that someone sent us. Um, shears. Oh, oh yeah. I'm yes. This one we got the sheet metal for the mousetrap, wasn't it? Yeah, but they felt bad because we were cutting it with, who knows, a grinder. I'm. It's hard talent. <laughs> I think they're like, oh my gosh, these goofballs won't spend money on. Okay, so oh look, I did spend money this week. I will show you. Hold on. Oh gosh. Wow. Yes, a marker does the same thing. There's our radius. Here, come on. I'll show you what I bought today. I spent money this week. Today? No, the other day. Okay. Steve is pumping out the heat. Yeah. I bought an English wheel. <laughs> I don't gorgeous. know what I'm doing, but I got it. I figured somebody would be proud of me. And if you guys notice, our car lift has stickers all over it. So what I need from you guys oh, golly. are stickers. Look at this. I got two stickers on her so far. Where'd the other one go? On the back. Right here. There's another one there. Yeah, we'll put your sticker on the new English wheel that I don't know what I'm doing, but I've been in here practicing. I've been, feel like I'm doing something. I'm doing this. And oh, jeez. There's that. Mm-hmm. All right, back to what we were doing. We need some shears. You want to use them big whompers or you want to no, use like you have shears. All right, so as you can see, I think he, I mean, done a great job. There's still clutter, still but it's, it's looking a lot better. I know you are. Got me a shelf. I still got to go through my shelf. So, a while back, uh, back when we were building the mousetrap, we had a subscriber send us some metal shears. Yes, sir, you did send me three. I just need a third arm to hold the other one up, but oh. I have them. <laughs> um, so, thank you so much for that, for the shears. We're going to use them right now because you actually commented when we were cutting the same <laughs> stuff that we needed shears. So, this is for you. Oh. This one's for you and me. All right, I already messed up. I wasn't thinking, I was thinking I needed this piece. I was gonna go back and trim this, but I actually need this piece for what I'm trying to accomplish. So hold on, I gotta flip this over and restart because I forgot what I was doing. You're having too much fun today. I'm having a good old time.
All right, so I went inside, found Corey some stickers. Oh yeah. So, now, <coughs> oh bless you. Now I'm sneezing. <laughs> I'm allergic to sweet potato. Oh, well, are I'm you? Just kidding. <laughs> um, anyways, we got us some stickers. Mm -hmm. Looking good, stockish. Um, anyways, we got a whole nother side to fill up. We'll plaster this thing with stickers. Sampley Brothers, I got your guys' stickers, so you guys don't have to, you guys can send me more if you want, but I'll make sure it's on here. Um, look, I even got homie uh, Metal Massacre over here. Well, I know. Oh, yeah. I'll put him right front center. All right, back to work. Ready? All right. Hannah's, me. Hannah's eating animal. We're going to eat lunch in just a minute. You this is my lunch. I know you can't resist. No, them are good. Yeah, hey, but you're gonna spoil your Corey. <laughs> uh, all right, so got our piece of cardboard cut out. There is that. You need to trim a little bit out over here. Mm -hmm. I see now that I don't fit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, we'll cut that out a little bit, and then we're gonna take this and we'll take it over here to excuse you the barrel to children begging for my treats. Something like that is what I got figured. No, I don't. Something like this is what I got figured. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And um, so we'll cut this top section out and uh, this will be that. And then these will get cut this way and that way. And then we'll take this top section and put it in a van. And as you can tell, we don't know what we're doing. That's why we got two barrels because we this don't know is what we're doing. Sacrifice one. I got mm -hmm. a really nice, sexy barrel I bought from Royal King. Mm. This is the guinea pig barrel. All right, so let me trim this down. Right on. Can I get me a cord and a grinder? Back way. That was so handsome. Him is a handsome boy. <laughs> Manny, you're handsome too. Oh, oh. Okay, well, in my head that would have worked, but apparently it don't. So, cut the ears off of it, I guess. You know, someone on here right now is just cringing because they're like, using a barrel. <laughs> you think it looks good that wide, or should we narrow it? I don't. I I think we should narrow it. Right, come down. Mhm. Mm it's getting there. Just need to trim it up. It'll work. You have an audience. I have an audience because you got animal crackers. You are an animal cracker. You are a brown animal cracker. No. <laughs> hey, them are mom's snacks. Double safety. Mm-hmm. 
I really managed to mess that up pretty good. <laughs> we'll be back after I figure out what I did wrong. All right, so we got our piece. I'm not really sure in my head finding that radius worked, but after it was all said and done, it didn't work. So Yeah, but you weren't holding it flat. I yeah, mean, I guess when it arched down, it took some of the corners off. If I would have went, if it was like this, it probably would have worked, but since it's laying down, it took this off. So pretty much straight. Um, we got another barrel, like I said earlier. So this is gonna go in here like this. It's gonna go down there at that angle. But before we put this in there, we need to go ahead and do the, the, the brake lever on this thing. So we're gonna kinda of switch horses real quick because we're messing with the transmission tunnel, but before we get the transmission tunnel into place, we need to get our uh, brake system thing in. So I had this made had them put some uh, copper bushings in it, got this rod that runs through it, and kind of the plan of attack is the brake pedal will be on one side, and this side is the master cylinder. So whenever you give the truck brakes, it'll transfer the lever to go this way. Um, I'll just have to show you once we get in there a little bit better, but kind of the plan is to take a notch out of the frame and recess this down in the frame. So I'm thinking cut a little area out here, and then the brake pedal is gonna set in this area, so I'm thinking cut the truck right here. Let's uh, cut the frame, recess this in first, or you think we should cut the, the body first? Probably the body to see where it goes. Okay, we're gonna cut the body first. Cause I'd hate for the yeah. frame to look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, me too. We do know we want it on a radius, so we keep the same theme going. Contour. Uh -huh. So we want to stay on top of the frame, so we'll come up to here, straighten all this up of course. It's kind of what I'm thinking, and then this piece will remove, and then there'll be a piece that goes on back and make like a, like a, a cubby hole, mm -hmm. and then that's where your brake and gas pedal will be. Well, Clay loves pickles. Oh. That's far as you can go. I was going to say, well, you might have to air the truck up because you won't really be driving it that low. We can put the piece in there, put that piece in there for now, and then raise it up just to test it. All right, so here's where we're at. I got this piece cut out. You guys just seen that. I got our brake mechanism in there. Got a piece of... Uh, poster board or cardboard whatever you want to call so that is going to be our floorboard now comes the struggle with everything else such as steering column and stuff like that well it is not a lot of room to work with in here the seat's not going to be back this far realistically if i was to check out the window i couldn't so the seat will probably be no i just i just set the chair there just i had a spot to set it yeah. and i tack welded it so I like it all the way back there, but like she said, you can't see. And then the steering column would be halfway in the hallway there, so. Yeah, I mean, I already feel like this is a spaceship. It so, kind of reminds you of a spaceship. Now, I am a lot shorter. My legs are a lot shorter than Corey's, but the steering wheel is probably going to be more up here. Gas pedal will be around here, and then brake pedal will be over here. So, we don't know exactly yet. We even said, like, it might be a two-footer. You might need, you know, one foot on the brake. We don't know. Well, we were trying to get, we'll get a little bit more into what we were trying to do, but basically the gas pedal is going to sit up in that cubby hole right in here. And then the brake pedal, if you see this notch in this piece of cardboard, the brake pedal is going to, the lever is going to come out through that hole. The problem is it's such a tight area. It's not so bad if the seat's all the way back where Hannah is, you can use both feet, but by going back there, the steering wheel would need to be right here. Yeah, here. So set on back. All right. So there's the problem. So we got to come forward, and the, like she was saying, the steering column comes forward. But so, when you get up further, 
for Hannah, it's not really a problem. She can drive it with one foot, but a taller guy like me, it's just not a lot of real estate. So I think what we're going to do is maybe put a, a, a little corner piece here so your heel of your shoe sets here. That way you can just break it. Yep. I think you could drive it with just one foot. It just depends. I guess we won't know until it's, it's done. It's a trial and error kind of thing. As you can see, we got pedal assemblies and stuff. I got an idea. And uh, I'm going to tack a few things go th together. Go ahead and remove that piece of cardboard. I'll show you guys that little... I notched it in the frame. It's just sitting there now. And then there'll be a piece of inch um, square stock going from here. Probably down at an angle. So when it's rotated, it'll push. So we're going to get that all together. Got some washers on there just so we don't wear out. Um, the copper bushings kind of give it a, a platform to ride against the whole time. We got a plan, but as you can see, there's not much to work with on this whole thing. Almost need to go to town here in a bit and figure out a way to hook this thing to that thing. That's for you to do. Yeah. Check one, check, check one, two, three. Mm-hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this rod. I kinda got a game plan. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but we're gonna do it anyways. So what I did, I took this piece of square tubing. This is gonna be our brake pedal side of things. So I cut a little notch in it and that's gonna set in there like that. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but um, that's kind of what I got planned. So look at me, I have somewhere to weld. I really cannot believe that. I, I know. So we're gonna set this like this. And we'll try to tack it. Alright, so that is tacked together and this is going to slide through that rod of course. Like I said, brake pedal side. Figure we'll do this side, we can get it really hot and then slide it in there so we don't overheat them uh, copper bushings. I guess we think we should tack everything together. Well the thing is if we tack it, if we weld it, if we tack everything together we can't weld one side really hot. I feel like this side's probably good to weld. Okay. Maybe we should try everything. Yeah. Let's try everything. All right. So kind of what I got figured, we'll put this washer on here first. Otherwise, if we put this through here, the copper is only, it's only gonna wear in that little area. So what I'm thinking, slide this washer on first like that slide this on so then it's not rubbing the the copper and wearing it down and we can even weld the washer to it just to get a little bit more uh, metal welded to the rod because this is a very important part without brakes we're going to wreck so everything's got to be pretty top notch and secure so we might even weld that washer to that so then it just gives it a little bit more meat you know a little bit more weld you know, weld it all through here. And uh, I feel like I'm explaining to you guys like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I'm just winging it. Now, is that the bar or was that, Th this that is gonna the, be the bar? This is the, the brake side and this was the, oh, okay. the, the yeah. brake booster side. We have a little bit more to be figuring out. We really need to go to town to buy some stuff to do the brakes. But right now, while I'm here, we are gonna be trying to put in the rear fenders. We did get these bent and we're gonna be trying to put these in now. I know we're all over the place, but as long as I'm here and I can be a second, you know, hand and help, then that's what he's gonna take advantage of because it's gonna be a lot harder to put these in alone. Yeah. So. And other things I can finish up and I do apologize. We're kind of everywhere, but this is the reality of building something like this. Here's our inner fenders or the back fenders. We're gonna put them in there. I had them rolled. They look really good. So I guess um, let's get them in there. All right, got us some fenders rolled. I gotta grab the welder. Just watch your fingers. I know. Cut up on the wall over here. Yeah, I need to trim the wall out. All right, well, I got one kind of, yeah, see mine's setting up on it. What's yours though? In the wall or the actual? Um, probably the wall, just a shape. Hold on, we tried putting 
these in here and we needed to cut a little bit of a lip off of them so they will fit down. So Corey just did that and now we're gonna see if they'll fit again. Um, it didn't need much, just a little bit of help, so. Well, what the problem was, whenever I was sticking them in here, it was hitting this lip right here. And so I just had to take a little notch out and recess it. So that's what you're seeing right here. Just took a notch out of all, well, both of them on the corners of them. Mm -hmm. so. so now we're gonna test fit number two. Watch your little fingers. I know, that's what I said. I'm afraid I'm gonna my little fingies. Okay, so. Three, two. There's a little bit of slag. Dang it, I didn't get it to go. Do you want me to tack mine really tack, quick? Tack yours. Tack your corner, Don't I'll hold it. Breathe. Don't breathe. The welder should be ready to roll. Hey, Alright, there's that. Alright, you put yours where it goes. I'll make sure mine's in the general area. Kind of what I had envisioned because I didn't want it to be completely round back here, just kind of give it a little bit more styling back here in the back. A little bit so, more contour. Yeah. Say contour one more time. I'm gonna learn to contour my face. Hey, so you can be like, why don't you go contour ahead. that other fender in here? <laughs> Corn nugget. Cedric. <laughs> Need to go way over. Oh, this piece. Oh. oh. Way to go, corn dog. You moved everything. I did not ask for me sliding down this earlier. Not in the head right here. Moving the head So we're making progress. Hannah's tacking this inner fender in. It's kind of a trick because this thing is aluminum and we're putting metal in it. So uh, we're welding what we can now. And then once the van gets up right in the here. air, yeah, weld it in there. Weld the screwdriver. Weld the screwdriver to the <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> okay. I'm about to test. Okay, so my screwdriver is tacked to. Okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, she's got it. So now we just need to get this the same here. Let me see if I can push that. Do you want me to tack the corner over here first uh, before you push? Yeah, go ahead and tack that. Tack her everywhere you can. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. All right. So that should let it go forward. <laughs> I feel like a penguin at the zoo. Oh my gosh! Yes. You're just as cute. <laughs> okay. And that's how you will exit the van. Yeah. 
the next step with this thing is we need to tack weld this down and then we need to make us a piece of sheet metal um, that is the same as this. We'll make two of them identical so it'll clone side to side and then we'll weld this up and uh, that'll be done but um, I need to run the air lines out a little bit further so we can get to them because if you guys remember I had there's an airbag here an airbag here I had a crossover so I'm gonna have to run the airbags out to the front just to air this thing up and down because right now it's gonna be a real pain so I'm gonna take this piece off and uh, probably hit this thing tomorrow I didn't really get as much as I wanted to done today but it is what it is we made we made some progress some progress is better than none so it is what it is and uh, what did my teacher tell me I don't know you, I kind of some is better than none but all is better than some when I wouldn't do my homework <laughs> All right, before we call it quits tonight, we are curious about what's in this package, so. Cause it's been like, sounds like something's rolling around or something. Here you go, open her um, up. So I think I'm gonna open it. And we have a lot of packages we have to open yet, but this one just really caught my attention whenever I was moving it. And it sounded like we'll a get whole to it. I'm hungry. was moving around. Let me go over here. I don't know what you got till it's gone. Quintana, Quintana, from Texas, Cap Rock, hey. Oregon, yep. Post, Texas. So, what is this? What is this? It's a dead squirrel. It's a, it's a dead body. It feels like, it smells like one too. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of buckwheat. Okay, how excited! Oh my. What is it? HWC. Oh, that was perfect that you <laughs> opened that then. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Oh my. That's what we were hearing. That's this little guy. That's definitely what we were hearing. Look at this. Wow. That is awesome. Okay. Put that in your camper. But wait, there's more. What is this guy? Put that in there. The other way. Like that. Way. What is that? I don't know. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's a Singbush. Singbush. Ideal bush. Junior. I don't know. I have to Google that a one. Singbush. I don't know what it is, but I could just sit here and massage my hand all day on it. Maybe that's what that is. And I'll let you open this mystery package. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. You open it. Hang on. Let me open this leather guy, and then we'll open the mystery package. Oh, you got one too. Aha. I thought I was special. And there is, I think, a note. Oh, yeah. That's really awesome. It's got stitching, teal stitching around it. And it looks like, um, pre like, what is that thing that we have? The Diamond metal thing? stitched? Yeah, oh, but the bead metal rolled thing. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's like they bead rolled this leather. Nice. And then this one is for Corey. That is pretty cool. Heck yeah. Well, Here. thank you so much. Oh. You open her. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, it smells good, whatever it is. It smells peppery. What is it? Oh my. Whoa. That is like what is that? beef jerky. Beef maybe. jerky? I think so. Oh, and it's like moist. That looks really good. Should I try it? What if it's for the dogs? <laughs> I don't know. All right, there's a lot of it. Eat it. It smells like... That's beef jerky. <laughs> if like it's pepper. for the dogs, Hannah's eating it anyways. <laughs> That's like peppered beef jerky. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Buckwood, I think this was for me find out they message us later they're like i hope the dogs enjoyed their dog food we don't need to go to dinner now i'm still going to dinner but i will take a piece that's that a really some, good that's a giant mm -hmm. piece okay so it's a stamp roller two and a half pounds of beef jerky it's made here in town it is real good well he ain't lying it is real good 
All right, so that beef jerky is pretty good. Thank you, Lupe, for that. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, we're headed off to dinner. Thank you guys so much. We're not done. We're gonna get back at it uh, in the morning. Hannah has to work tomorrow at um, the restaurant. They're doing Hope Research. Um, resource, sorry. Um, I guess the, the preachers in the area participate in helping the servers serve food. I'm not really, okay. It is so much fun. Um, it's for the Hope Resource Center, which is a center around here that helps women who are pregnant. They try to help them as much as they can and allow them to have their babies instead of, you know, the alternative. And the pastors from around our area, a lot of them will go to a restaurant and they have to be a server for the night. And a lot of their congregation comes. All of the tip donations, or all of the tips are donations for Hope Resource Center. So I'm hoping Corey can go. And Me? just kind of like. Where am I going? See how it is. Cause there's so much fun. I am doing that tomorrow. I guess Corey will be here. I'm taking the beef jerky so he don't eat it all. But um, we'll now, see y'all in the morning. Yes. All right, so it is the next day. I went to Royal King, went to town to look for a clevis. This is the clevis that I'm talking about, but this is pretty overkill for what we're doing. I was looking for a half inch one, um, a half inch insert one. That's what I used on Hannah's welding rig, uh, rig to do the clutch linkage and stuff like that. So I'm trying to apply the same concept into the van, but they didn't have a half inch clevis. They had this half inch rod. So I drove around town looking for the half inch clevis and no one had one and I'm kind of hard headed and I wanted to get this project done today. So we stepped it up to five eighths. So this thing is definitely overkill. But the problem is when I went to the five eighths, they didn't have a piece of all thread with five eighths fine threaded threads on it. So I went with this five eighths uh, grade eight bolt. We're gonna thread it in here and then basically weld something to the bolt, cut the bolt head off and make our own rod. And then uh, also I got five eighths hardware to slide through it. And then kind of the plan is, I got this uh, piece of metal here. This one's gonna weld to our linkage, slide that in there, slide the bolt through that. It'll make sense here in a little bit. I got something going on in my head. So I'm gonna make that happen real quick, try to get that linkage on the van, um, and just kind of go from there. So let's just get on it. All right, so here's what I got going on. I know some of you guys are probably like, why are you messing with the brake pedal? It's too early for the brake pedal, but not really. So here's kind of what I got in my mind is I got, let me take this out. Oh, hold on. So I got our bar in there and then you guys know what we got going on over here. I got our linkage kind of set up but um, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the right angle. I want the foot pedal. And I did it like this because you gotta remember if the body ever has to come off, which the body does have to come off once we get our sheet metal in there. 
So pretend this is our sheet metal. It's gonna go in here like that. So then we're gonna have a slot, maybe not that big. We might fill in this spot. And then uh, my plan is to put like a um, trim ring around this with some rivets to kind of match the headlight bezels. Something sorta, see how they did the headlights? Do that, but like in a very smaller version, kind of make a boot around this thing. But we gotta have the foot pedal. So kind of what I got in mind is the foot pedal will slide in there. We'll pin it with a uh, 3 8 bolt or something. Uh, just so it can't accidentally pop out going down the road, which honestly, it'd probably be fine without anything holding it in. But just to be safe, we'll throw a bolt through the side of it. So my plan is, say if you ever need to take the body off this thing, pull the brake pedal out, the cab will come off. Once the cab goes back on, which it should never really come off, but we have that option. Brake pedal slides in, pin it, and that gets me back to finding the angle I want. So... I'm thinking something like that. Well, now that I know where I want the pedal, that'll tell me where I can put our uh, second bar for the linkage. So let me slide this off, get rid of that. So slide this back in. All right, so that's kind of the angle we're wanting. Originally I had it down this far. Well, kind of looks kind of crappy. So I'm thinking as long as we keep it flush with this and I might put a, a pair of vice grips to hold it right there to keep it in, uh, in line with this uh, fender well here, put it something like that, and that tells me our piece here can go in that journal area. This is what I got going on down here. I got our uh, 5 8 coupler, and then got our bolt ran through it. I'll turn it over. So this is what I got. I'll weld it down through here, weld it through here, weld that bolt remain in here. This is the bolt we cut with the head off of it. And my plan is, for right now, I'm going to weld it like this, but going down the road, this thing will get a bunch of trash and stuff in it. So by turning it over, it makes a nice little shield. Um, there's that. This will transfer the um, momentum into our booster, and it should work. So that's kind of why I went ahead and done the brake pedal. And there's that. And we can always, if we don't like this, we can always put a different pad on it, or we might dress this up but this is kind of a raw finish right now and it might stay on there forever i don't know we might clean it up around the edges and that might be its forever brake pedal but this way we have options on what we want to do so i kind of i guess kind of now the plan is put this on and uh, once that's on we can remove it from the frame weld it all up nice and then we're gonna have to keep it cool so we don't melt the bushings on this side weld it all back into the frame and continue on with that. Found me a bar. Gonna clamp it on with, these ain't vice grips I know, but just some simple little clamps. Clamp that on there. We're gonna clamp this to here. And that will be its angle. You can kind of see what I'm doing now. It's just a flush. You know, it ain't sticking out no further. It ain't in no further. It's gonna look real nice whenever it's all done. All right, so the bolt is in it working you can see it moving in there um, once you put your foot on this of course it'll throw its momentum back into that this thing is vacuum it also has a vacuum that hooks to it so right now it's really really stiff I had it tacked together pretty good earlier but it's wanting to um, you know once we get vacuum hooked up to this thing it'll it'll let it throw it in there a lot better but there it is it's kind of cool it's kind of coming together my idea is kind of working uh if it don't work i don't know i guess we'll figure something out but i really don't see no reason it won't work some packages we're going to open before we go um i did get some stuff done on the van i probably could have got more but i got a little sidetracked and you guys will see why i got sidetracked in uh, next wednesday's video i think you guys are going to be excited about this and we're actually getting ready to head back there today to take care because yeah. i went by myself so 
Anyways, without us rambling on, let's get to the opening the packages. I always feel like I'm gonna cut through something important. Where is this from? All right, so this one is from, um, it's from Roy Powell. That name sounds familiar. Um, I'm gonna have Hannah mess with that one and I'll start kind of whittling on this one a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's That's a, cool. Oh my gosh. It is a will key ring. Key ring. How cute. Heck yeah. We'll definitely have to put that on one of the, the trucks. In the UK, that is crazy. It is crazy to me. Like, oh. we're like in a small little town, and then to see people following us from the United Kingdom and Australia and um, overseas, it's mind blowing to us. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, these are the key. I gotta show you guys up close these. These are for me, not Corey. Are yeah. those not so cool? You'll, she'll be wearing them all the time. Yeah, I will. Let's see. How cool is that? Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. He said, enjoy watching our video every week, and he always comments. Oh, uh, well, that's so. probably how I seen the name, because I've seen <laughs> the name on there, so. Uh, thank you, Roy, and um, thank you for the support and everything you've given us, just like all you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. We do appreciate you. Yeah, more so than... it's Cheryl and Roy. Well, okay. thank you guys. Well, thank you. This one says, fragile, do not bend. I don't know why I'm handling it. Yeah, we are a little bit behind on the, on, we could have unpacked the sum in the last video, but we were traveling and doing good to get the video done. All right, here we go. Goodness. Where is your hat the rest of the time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Canned wheat. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it? It's a record. Yeah. It's We're going to find there. something with a record player now. It's still in there. So, Corey and Hannah. This one? I don't. Oh. It's from. Um, Susan Farner from uh, Illinois. I learned not to say Illinois with an S. I got burned on a video for saying <laughs> Illinois. And I, I was told by numerous people it's Illinois. So I learned my lesson. All right, so here we go. This is our old truck we call Maynard. So here you go. Here's the picture of their old truck. I know, that's definitely hanging up. I like that little truck. That truck is pretty sweet. Well, that's the really that cool, cool picture. Look, look at this little drawing or artwork of their truck. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much for the, the gift. We're gonna have to find us a record player now. <laughs> so there is it. We got one more. We got a few more, but this is all we got time for today. Here we go. So this one's all the way from North Carolina. Um, this one's from Joe, Joe Sellers. Nope. <laughs> I do remember that guy. Wait, let me see. Is this the guy you put in the headlock? No, that's the no. guy that had the YouTube oh, channel. Oh, yeah. So, I do remember you. This guy, uh, he has a YouTube channel as well called Rust Lover's Garage. We met him at the Rob Run. He was a really cool guy. Yeah, he was there whenever we were uh, lowering the valent in the, the parking lot at the, at the ice cream store with Resurrected Garage. So, that is awesome. That is a really cool that's picture. A good picture. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We got a can. I know who oh, that is. Oh man! Ooh, look at it. Heck yeah. I love all cans. You know that. But this one, you can smell it. I mean, I have a lot of cans that I found in old trucks that look like this, and they're just really cool to me. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Merry Christmas to you. I see that you said Merry Christmas. So now I kind of feel bad that it took me a whole month yeah. to open that box. But we appreciate you, Joe. We. Appreciate all of you guys. Um, we got some big things coming up. We got some cool stuff coming in. Hopefully you guys will like. I know you guys are gonna like. Well, those who like Patina's gonna like. <laughs> those who like shiny stuff, you're probably not gonna like it. But um, I guess without us rambling on guys, we're gonna get back in the garage. I guess uh, farewell till next Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>